Hi, how are you doing? I'm Robert and this is the Jet Set English Podcast, the podcast designed to improve your English listening ability. Today's paragraph that I would like to read to you is about what is going through the mind of a politician who is about to face a group of journalists for a press conference. I will read the paragraph slowly the first time and then at a normal pace the second time. After reading the paragraph the first time, I'll explain some of the difficult words and phrases so that you will more easily understand what I'm saying when I read the paragraph a second time at a normal speed. I shall now begin. The politician mentally prepared himself to enter the conference room where the press conference would be held in a mere 10 minutes time. His brain was rapidly running through the options of what information he should present and how he would respond to the various questions which the media were likely to ask him. He needed to consider all the possible ramifications that could result from what he was about to say. He needed to ensure that his words would not be misinterpreted or used as ammunition against him by the conservative opposition party. The politician reflected on how his life in politics so far had been a roller coaster ride of successes and setbacks, and how he was now about to venture into a new chapter of that life, which, if handled with finesse, had the potential to be extremely rewarding, both professionally and personally. Now, let's take a look at some of the difficult words and phrases. A press conference is an interview of a person who wants to make an announcement or answer questions with journalists. Ramifications are the unwanted consequences or results of an action or actions. The word misinterpreted means to understand something incorrectly. The next word ammunition in a military sense means a collection of bullets or artillery shells. In an abstract sense, this word can be used to mean information or questions that can be used to do harm. Next, we have conservative opposition party. The word conservative, in terms of political parties, refers to parties that emphasize maintenance of traditions and the importance of individuals in a society. An opposition party is a political party which is not in power at present and so is opposed to the current elected government. The word reflected is the past tense of the verb to reflect, which means to think deeply about something. A roller coaster ride describes a changing situation that goes back and forth from good or beneficial to bad or disadvantageous, like the ups and downs you experience when riding on a roller coaster. The word setbacks refers to progress that has stopped or gone backwards for a period of time. The verb to venture means to try something that will hopefully be beneficial, but involves the risk of a possible negative outcome. The phrase new chapter of life means a new period of someone's life that differs from previous periods of that person's life. Finesse is an adjective which describes a high level of skill which is very impressive. And finally, the phrase rewarding both professionally and personally is used to refer to an activity or event that is beneficial to both someone's occupation and his or her life outside of work. I will now read the paragraph again. This time I'll read at a normal speed. I shall begin. The politician mentally prepared himself to enter the conference room where the press conference would be held in a mere 10 minutes time. His brain was rapidly running through the options of what information he should present and how he would respond to the various questions which the media were likely to ask him. He needed to consider all the possible ramifications that could result from what he was about to say. He needed to ensure that his words would not be misinterpreted or used as ammunition against him by the conservative opposition party. 
the politician reflected on how his life in politics so far had been a roller coaster ride of successes and setbacks, and how he was about to venture into a new chapter of that life, which, if handled with finesse, had the potential to be extremely rewarding, both professionally and personally. Well, that's all for today. I hope you keep up with your English study, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast. Bye.